Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Joe Manduke once again on uh, Manduke Reviews. And today I'm going to talk about yet another Dragon Ball Z related topic. Um, specifically, I'm going to do a basic review of Dragon Ball Z Season 3 Funimation dub of uh, basically what covers the battle against Frieza, where the uh, whole journey on Namek kind of culminates with the showdown with the Z fighters against Frieza. Um, to be honest, I think that this season encompasses everything that is truly good and truly bad about the series. Um, everyone pretty much knows why this portion of the series is so well known, and that is simply because it is kind of what is most infamous about Dragon Ball Z, is that it takes forever to get anything done. Uh, they drag a, a fight out which really could be done in, you know what they do in Kai, basically like 10 episodes, and it's about 20, for no reason. Like, you'll spend certain episodes just people bouncing around. I mean, it's ridiculous. But, um, you know, that aside, watching it again, after purchasing it, uh, the uh, Funimation box set of Season 3, I... I like it, but I only like certain portions of it. Like, I found myself, unlike in the later seasons with uh, the androids, Trunks, and uh, Cell, um, I kind of found myself skipping a lot of episodes. Like, yep, I'm kind of bored now. And I would find myself spacing out in an episode sometimes. And um, it's kind of interesting how it kind of grips you when you're a kid with the Bruce Falconer soundtrack. But that's actually one thing that I kind of noticed as I tried to rewatch the uh, later Dra Dragon Ball Z seasons again, especially the Frieza saga, was... They kept relooping the same tracks over and over again. And yes, I love the Bruce Falconer soundtrack, but it is way overused in the series, and I think particularly in that season for some reason. Uh, certain things, though, um, are really good. Like I think that the high points of the series and the high points of the season really stand out. Like Throughout all the moments which are mediocre or, to be honest, quite crappy, those few moments that pop up every now and then really, really shine, and uh, kind of make the whole ordeal worth it for me, um, I think as a fan. And I honestly do believe that, you know, trying not to be impartial about it, there are some moments where the voice acting is really good, the music is used very appropriately, the animation can be striking, um, and it's just it's just overall good. But the um, the season as a whole, to be honest, I think it's probably my least favorite portion of Dragon Ball Z that I ever really saw. Um, I didn't really see a whole lot consistently after the Cell games. I didn't really uh, have much of an interest in that. And I might talk about that some other time, but... Uh, I mentioned before that this season kind of encompasses everything that's good and bad about the series. And I mean that when I say, yes, it stretches out too long, kind of reloops some things with the soundtrack, the voice acting and dialogue aren't always the best. But it's still so epic. And, you know, you still love the characters, and there are some really good moments. Overall, though, Season 3 of Dragon Ball Z, I think it's actually one of the weaker ones, overall. Um, as awesome as Freeze is as a villain, his portion of the series wasn't really my favorite. Um, everything before and after him I kind of liked, to be honest. Um, mostly just, especially now, um, trying to rewatch it again. It just dragged on way too long. But uh, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, if you love Dragon Ball Z or you want to check out the old classic Dragon Ball Z, you know, you're going to have to watch this. And, you know, you'll probably still enjoy it. Like, it's enjoyable, but you could skip around a bit and don't feel bad. Because if you miss a few episodes, you really haven't missed anything. And if you've seen Dragon Ball Z, you love it, you know what I'm talking about. Got to roll with it. It's kind of part of the whole uh, experience. It gives the series its charm. Um, but yeah, that's basically my review of Season 3 of The Battle Against Frieza. So uh, thank you once again, friends, and I'll see you again next time.